Lene Monet here and I am back with another video. All right guys, so today we're gonna try the Enchiria, okay? As well as the seven layer nacho fries. Ooh, just speaks to my soul. Y'all know I love the fries from Taco Bell, so we got to get into it. How I supposed to be getting into now, okay? So if you're interested, stay tuned because we're about to get right into the video. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's let it rain. And clear it out. Hey, I let it rain. What? And clear it out. Sorry about that. I can take your order. How you doing? I placed the online order. Lene. Lene. Right. Thank you. Y'all, I'm so mad that I came through this before and they made me, um. You ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had, you. Hold on. Wait a minute, y'all. Hold on. I gotta tell y'all something. Yeah. Can I get some fire? Okay. Can I get some fire sauce, please? All right, y'all. Here we go. Oh, it's uh, 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 uh. it's too cold for that. I won't ride around for a second with the window down. Uh uh. uh, 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 uh. <laughs> All right, y'all. Woo! Now, let me get my hand sanitized. A dollar for Daisy. Period. Whoo. Okay. Now, what I was about to tell y'all was, I was so mad I already came through the drive through and he was like, oh, the Ed Chirio is online. It's online. And I'm like, what? He like, yeah, you got to download the app. So I'm like, well, if y'all got all the ingredients, why you just can't make it? Okay. It's not like it's a lot of people marching behind me. I want the Ed Chirio. Okay. Y'all got time. I'm looking around. Y'all definitely got time. So I didn't know what all that was about. Anyway, let me get you a clue. All right, y'all. So let's get into this Anchorio. Ooh. Okay, I wonder what that red sauce is about. But it's cheesy. It's definitely cheesy. I mean, we really can't see much from this angle. Okay, but I do know it got beans in it. It got onions. It got mystery meat. Okay, a little mystery beef up in that thing. Let's check out these seven layer nacho fries too. Woo! Oh, this look a little bit kind of good, y'all. They got that Chipotle on there. They got that cheese. They got that mystery meat, sour cream, guacamole, tomato. Okay, with them good old fries. Mm, let's try. All right, y'all. So, boom. I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the intro rail. It's definitely thin. Okay, it's on a diet. I'm feeling so slim. Like, I feel so skinny now. I lost three whole pounds. It's slim thick. What y'all you at? Why my burrito look like it got a flat tire? Oh my gosh. If this is how it's supposed to be, I don't know. I never had this before, y'all. Hey, this got a lot going on. Look, 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 look. Hold on. Let's hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hmm. That's a little bit kind of mushy. Is that how it's supposed to be? It's supposed to be a little mushy? I think so. It got sauce on it. It's kind of covered in sauce. So I guess, that, okay, that makes sense then. It's supposed to be a little bit kind of mushy. Let me, now that I know what to, hold on, hold on. Because I'm sitting here wrestling with you. Baby, I'm sitting up here having a full-blown on fight with this. Because I don't got time for that. I'm not going to be fighting with you on camera. Sorry I had to witness that. Now that I know what to expect, let me go in again. Okay, them onions is onion in. Okay, they done put some onion on them. Some refried beans, a little mystery meat if you will. Cheese, okay. And the sauce and everything is on the outside. You know, I'm not mad at it. I don't know if I like my burritos doused in sauce. I don't know yet. Hmm. What's this sauce talking about? Because what is this? It don't taste like nothing. All the flavor is coming from the mystery meat now. Come on, the rest of y'all need to hold y'all weight. It ain't nothing worse than being on a team and only one person doing the work. Come on now. It ain't my favorite though, I ain't gonna hold you. It's really not. Mm. It's okay. I just feel like it's missing something. Like, I don't know what is missing. Probably some seasoning. Yeah. I don't think I like my burrito soggy. 
I'm having a texture problem over here, y'all. I'm sorry. Now, on to these seven layers, okay? Let's see what it's talking about with the seven layers. Tomato, we're going to get everything. A little bit of guac. And they said they got a new vamp guacamole. Because the last one that I had tasted was so. How is it? Good. It looks so. It looks like you're enjoying yourself. Mm. Oh yeah, that looks like you're enjoying. How is it already going bad and I just got it? I don't understand that. Let's see. It's a situation, and that's what I had knew. Cause I know I like me a little nacho fry. You know what I'm saying? I know I like that. This is where all the seasoning went. Okay, the guac is definitely stepping up. Okay, y'all did something different with the guac and I ain't mad at it. Mmm. Y'all, this right here, this right here, yeah. Let's add a little hot sauce to that thing. And take it up a notch. You hear me? Ooh, yeah, there we go. I wanted it to drizzle, not plop on there like that. Yes, come on, let's see. Let's see what it's talking about. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Transfer this energy over to the Anchoria. You getting light-handed, and I don't like that. You need to be evenly distributing seasonings across the board. No wonder y'all be trying to stuff these fries and everything. Y'all be trying to put these fries everywhere in the burrito. We don't need fries in the burrito. It's unnecessary. I'm sorry. I don't mean to bring up the past, but let's just not do that no more. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look at this enchorio again. So if I had to choose between the seven-layer nacho fries, or the Anchorio, I'm definitely gonna go with the seven layer nacho fries just because it has more flavor. You know what I mean? Like it ain't lacking in flavor at all. It's, it's busting out the band though with the flavor. It's busting brand new flavor in your ear. That's exactly what's happening here, okay? This on the other hand, if you just wanna take it light, if you just feel like I'm not in the mood for all that flavor, you know what I'm saying? I want something a little bit more docile. Something a little less rambunctious. Something a little mild mannered. Then yeah, I would go with this. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. All right, y'all, look. I'm going to head out. But before I do, let me tell you this. I'm just going to say this. What are you thinking in this season? Whatever you are thinking, so it will be. It's time to really evaluate your thoughts, your everyday thoughts, your subconscious thoughts, the things you are spending so much time on. Do you need to change how you are viewing things? Is it more of a hindrance? Have you created an enemy in your own head? We become so accustomed to speaking down on ourselves that it has become a routine. You don't even realize that you are feeding yourself negativity all day long. Take situations and make sure that on an everyday basis, you are feeding yourself positivity, reassurance, affirmations. You got to protect your mind at all times. So what are you thinking in this season? And if you ain't thinking right, then you need to do everything in your power to change that. And so the rest of you can be effective along the way. All right, y'all. Well, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload. Until next time, guys. Peace.